Welcome back. Okay. There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... PSM First Midrick here, at your service. And uh, before we start, let me just finish something I was saying to Drakir before I got interrupted by someone walking into my room. Uh, yeah, something I learned yesterday, or something I realized yesterday, was uh, that the, the cat from Big Hero 6, Mochi, I only yesterday re realized he's named after a kind of Japanese treat, which is, well, Mochi. <laughs> so he's oh, literally yeah, that is treat. True. Yeah, I, I don't think I, 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 what, they even say the cat's name? Yeah. He no, they did, I almost have forgotten it. I think it's one of those times it actually went over my head when we watched it. Could be. And it makes sense since, well, mochi, or at least the mochi that I've been getting at a, a large store, literally called Oriental, uh, it, it is soft and squishy <laughs> like the cats anyways welcome to guacamelee 2 which uh, is a lot less uh, in your face with the this part of it huh instead of the big shouty part of super t guacamelee super turbo championship edition yeah so, uh, let's move in then <laughs> let me double check the stats uh, music okay. sounds very shiny gold and all that, but also there's something ominous with this. Yep. So it's less flashy move. It's something that we feel a bit tricky sometimes that people do that they have give a dark feeling with the gold. Yeah. And as you can see, I have played this game before. It was actually my introduction to the guacamelee series so or at the moment duology Though i'm not sure if they would make a third one i would definitely appreciate a third guacamelee but uh we'll see also why the hell is my cpu running at 100 percent okay it's what the game is drawing 77 percent of my uh, cpu okay uh yeah, let's just start on normal because I'm not masochistic. Previamente in Guacamele. One this way. Kalaka is kept into Lupit Neta. That's the El Presidente's name. He's about to merge the worlds of the living and the dead. This will be challenging for you even in your prime. Don't worry, Juan. You've got this. You, you got this. What are you waiting for? Time waits for no luchador. <laughs> We've had our differences, but I believe in you, mi amigo. Fight fiercely. Okay, not entirely how it played out. It... Yep. Juan! How dare you interrupt my moments. Your words are as empty as your soul, you ugly charo. Mankind, he needs mankind. He'll needs a savior such as you. Castlevania reference, the first one, like within ten freaking seconds. What is a luchador? <laughs> a little pile of secrets. Oh come on! But Did enough talk. I bet you. <laughs> Okay, is this basically a redo? Yep, without the shields. Is this the starting fight, of course? Yep, he's taking that a lot slower. Okay. Still at growl or chuck growling chuckle. Luchador. You are lucky I spent all my energy on the red tool. But you are too late, for this black sun arrives. Come, witness the merging of life and death in the beginning of my new world empire. Okay, this lines up again. He said world, new world order, not new world empire. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, luckily not as bad on the eyes. The power, I can feel it willing inside me. Behold, 
I am Kalaka. God of the living and the dead. I tremble on my rule. Er, I mean, he just pulls out a giant ruler. <laughs> okay. We've done this before, and at much lesser... Oh, oh, we are... We have full health and our full stamina. We, more than we could e even actually get in the game, I think. Okay, just apply the same strategy as last time. Just pile up all of the attacks. And easy enough. Can't actually walk around <laughs> whilst this is going on, be just being impatient. Yeah, this is signifying that the golden slash happy end is the canon one. Someone's let themselves go a bit. And hello there, Glacier Boy. Hello, Glacier Boy. And indeed, let the music is let the name. Or, well. La, maybe this it should be called Latino? Hmm. Are you sure? I don't know even if Latino is a way that I can say or not, but what the heck can even one say nowadays? Yeah, it's. Uh... It's that Latin X that people have problems with, that they find insulting. So, yeah, just call it Latin, uh, or Latin American music is probably the best here, Gla yeah, you sure? Yeah, Latin American. They've, I like, kind of like Latin American uh, now and then. It has its charm. And, uh, yeah, as you can, as we can see, <laughs> there's now uh, a little Juan and a little uh, Juanita <laughs> running around. Yeah. Oh, well, I miss my manners. Welcome, Glacier Boy, once more. You're welcome as always, yeah. Let's see. Baba, are you looking at your posters again? It's playtime. Let's see. Oh, hey, Oops. I, I, I actually can translate that. What, Champion uh, Yuan. Champion uh, Yuan. Yeah, decently easy to guess. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have access to any of our previous power and our... Uh, well, <laughs> our gym hasn't been... has seen any... Our gym hasn't seen any use in quite a long time. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, one of them has a piñata plushie. Okay. Oh. That's also concerning. Marriage uh, photo and a photo from, of the kids, of course. It, Shalito, have you seen the kids? I'm guessing I'm gonna have to eat all the ice cream myself. Hmm. I think they're calling my bluff. <laughs> I, kids generally tend to wise up to such tricks eventually. Yeah. Emphasis on eventually, depending on the kid. 
Yeah, do I have met a, a bloody... I don't know if it was my father or mother, but it was hard to know when they were bluff for. Some were truthful and some were not. So it actually became hard to but do the voicing up against them. Apparently Lupita isn't going to be bluffing. <laughs> I might eat all... I might actually eat all the ice cream. Bird Hill. Oh, there they come. Who's hungry for tacos? Me, me. Well, they're almost ready. Uh, Esperanza, Juanito, uh, get off the table. Oh no, we're we're all out, yeah, we <clears throat> we're all out of avocados. Your father must have eaten them all. <laughs> well, maybe the market is still open. Yeah, do you think you could pick some up? I have to finish my dissertation. Okay. Hey. The what now? A dissertation. That's uh, a paper of some sort. Also, I see yeah. the alcohol is still very well stocked. Okay. Oh, right. And he has a distillery, so I guess that does make sense. Yep. Also, yeah, the, this, the game is drawing pretty hard from my system, it seems. Not to the point that it's causing problems or anything, but I think you can see why it is pulling so hard. I, I'm kind of unsure of it. It doesn't look too different from the other game. Yeah, there's a little more depth and shadow effects. Oh, and detail but... work as well. Yeah, the detail work, I see you can't do this with a bit out issue. No, the depth, I... Depending how they done it with the depth, though, I guess that could cause issue. Maybe. It's a here one. I can never thank you enough for saving us in the last game. <laughs> and immediately there goes the fourth wall. Come down to my restaurant someday. I'll look you up. One free appetizer on me. Cheapskate. Uh, right, Hill. Look at you on. Yeah, I think he might have had a few too many already. Yeah, too many free uh, samples. Once, so nice to see you out and about. I know Lupita worries sometimes. You'll have to bring the family over again for dinner sometime soon. My new tortilla soup recipe will knock your <laughs> yeah, calcatines off. I'm thinking that's, that must be a type of shoe. <laughs> yeah, someone just threw the fourth wall across the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way Is to put it. it. Yeah, they suplexed it. And also, uh, you can make soup of tortillas? Uh, tortillas are, 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 are those wraps, I think, right? So I'm not sure yeah. you're supposed to make soup out of those. And uh, they've I... updated the statue. Oh, good gods. That, that's one way to do it. Oh. Hey there. Ah, uh, Juan, the old hero emerges from the slumber? I haven't seen you run since the Great Tortilla Scare. How's the familia? Avocado avocados? Well, you better hurry. I saw Frey ay, ay, ay uh, around the vendor. He looked hungry. Seems like just yesterday when we were rivals and Kalaka was defeated. How things have changed, me amigo. Nice to see him still around. We don't see many luchadors around these parts anymore. I see you're still wearing your belt probably after all these years, though. And yeah, mostly probably to keep his pants up at this point. But it's still a belt. True. This house means so much to me. It was actually built by my great 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 friend Hector. Wait. Um. What's a new one? Yeah, this... <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah, this game and the previous one has some humor that is really out of left field, huh? Like, I I think I... I think I stated that outright at one point. Like, that came so far out of right left field, it hit the right cheek first. <laughs> Hello, hero. Just another peaceful day in our beautiful town. That's all? Okay. Ron, looking for avocados? Frey just brought them all today, sorry. Maybe you should go see him in the church. 
see. And they still have that stained glass window. But now they also have one over one, it seems. So it's a bit oddly colored with white. Oh, Juan, you'd like some avocados? I had, a, <coughs> I had a full barrel earlier today, but I'm almost out. Tell you what, get rid of that amp of the, yeah, get rid of the empty barrel for me, and I'll give you a few for my private stash. How quickly do you eat those things? Keep going, hero. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it'd be easier. Here you go. You... Caramba, what was that? Come on, can you uh, go see what's happening? It was a much softer blow than last time, but uh, yeah. He's uh, kind of lost his touch since he's been parroting. Those weird black things just appeared. I know. Uh. Juan, one of those black things is on the town statue too. So, Tetris is invading <laughs> Escalitos. <laughs> Save us, Juan. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Can still put up a fight, though. Oh, hello. Juan. Sorry about the skeletons. I'm so glad I found you, man. Quickly, we, 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 we must travel to the darkest timeline. The Mexiverse is in grave danger. Please, there's no time to explain. Jump through this portal, I'll meet you on the other side. The Mexiverse? I guess you should go. Sounds like they really need you. You'll be okay. Papa, you broke a skeleton. <laughs> Bring me back an alahebra, yeah, Dad. Kids. Juan, be careful. Mixiverse? Oh, dear. Man, I wish I could open interdimensional portals. <laughs> Anything to say you? No, just the... It's Oh, there we go. Wonder if those black things will disappear if we can make like, a straight line out of them. <laughs> I, I don't think you want to touch them. What the heck? <laughs> play, play limbo. Duck. Oh no, this isn't right at all. It feels like about halfway there, like some sort of purgatory. But it's definitely not the darkest timeline. Uh, oh, welcome back, Clara. Hello, Clara. Can confirm touching the black things is bad. Come on, it can't be much further. Also, I don't think I have to spell out the reference here. And yeah, that was a Tetris joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cradle blimp. Uh, yeah, that makes it even more apparent. Rivera uh, City, baddest timeline. Bad hombres. Sup? Triple Dragon. Sub the Inclined's Chin. Rivera City Ransom. El Presidente has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough hombre to rescue a dark guard? No, come here, Guan. We can't get sidetracked. This is the baddest timeline, not the darkest. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty with these portals. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this next jump, though. I'm delaying. Uh, oh, dear. There we go. Great blue Cho darkest timeline this is it the darkest timeline <laughs> this way please yeah that was limbo and that was uh river city ransom and yeah hello 
I can barely believe it, Senor is Yuichivos. It was horrible. Please describe what happened. I was just fixing up my bike when Salvador, you know, THE Salvador, the one that killed Kalaka, showed up. He had a gang of weirdos with him. A magician, a dead dog lady, a talking cactus. Careful, boss. The top one is not a step. The suspense is killing me. Again. Nonsense. What? No, I'm the brains. You're the muscle. Silence. I need to prepare my monologue. But first... Ah, the golden relic. Soon I will reach the... Monkahite. Guessing that's what I... That's... Uh, there was... There, <clears throat> there was also a there's no time to explain direct call out with uh, That's Terminator, right? I think that's a very common Yogi many time traveling alternative universe jumping quotes. Could maybe return to the future with Doc Brown. But uh, yeah, a bit late with this, but welcome back, Clara. It's just some salsa stuck in my throat. I'm still as strong as ever. <coughs> hmm, the golden relic. This could mean trouble. Also, after Salvador took the relic, strange black things began to appear in the sky. And the skeletons are, be and the skeletons are becoming more frequent. No bones about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back, Chivo24. I didn't see you there. We were just... Wait. Please don't tell me that is D1. Yes, this is the last one left alive. The very one I told you about. He defeated Kalaka in his timeline, saved Lupita, and survived. Oh, <laughs> incredibly. Incredibly. There's a specific pronoun that probably I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get. You did, you did translate it accidentally. Yeah, but no, it, is, it is pretty easy to guess what it means. Let's see. I do appreciate how all the Chivos are yanking their loincloths off. Yeah, like none of these. None of these guys know how to use a belt. This is the one? Yes. That is concerning. Alright, well, the only surviving one, please step forward. Have you heard of the three legendary relics? No. There we go. Yep. Really, projections? <laughs> with a little projector. Oop. Yeah, but disturbing these relics could cause the timelines to collapse in them. So, okay, I, did, I didn't get that these were going to move on their own. Salvador's evil ambition may very well lead to... The, the end of the Mexiverse. Hell? What mm -hmm. was that? Right, the sound on the background. Yeah, that that thing used to give me jump scare. Yeah, there was apparently a, a message getting through on my phone because for some reason that stupid thing keeps turning off. It's in a disturb mode. No, yeah. Okay, I, I just chucked it on my bed. And... Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah. One, go and find Mass Guardian Tostada in the mangrove swamp to the east. Los Mangalares. Los Mangalares? The study will help you find the sacred mask. You're going to need it if you hope to stop Salvador. Salvador was right when he was a... Tec technico? 
and beat Kalaka, but I love him even more than now as a Rudo. He's so badass. I do hope he doesn't destroy Mexico, though. I'm guessing those were Mexican wrestling terms that I'm not familiar with. Like, uh... Rudo might be the Mexican word for a heel or something? I'm sure. I... I do know Mexico is, is actually not Latin. Okay, yeah, it's... Uh, Latin America is more like the... Northwestern... No, Northeastern side of South Af uh, South America. I almost said South uh, Africa, what the hell? <laughs> It, it, it is a, it's a basically Central and South America entirely, since there's many uh, Portuguese and Spanish that uh, colonized it. Uh, wait, what and what, Clara? Me just failing at geography? <laughs> or something uh, else? Basically, see, is, uh, Mexico is actually... It's actually Aztec. Okay. Uh, all this hoopla about Salvador, Salvador this, Salvador that. Hello, a talking cactus just walked into town, people. Oh dear. He does have a point. Uh, you. Don't worry, Juan. I promise we'll get you back home as soon as the relics are safe. How's your mother, by the way? Oi, bro code, off limits. <laughs> <laughs> you said it yourself, you old goat. Let's see. I thought Latin America was all the Americas where they speak languages arrived from Latin, Spanish, Portuguese. Could yeah, be, that, that's I, I, maybe. That is it, yes. Okay. One, the fate of the Mexiverse is in your manners. Did that bad guy say something about salsa? It's nice to see a living Juan again. High five, buddy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to remember you, purple co uh, purple scarf. Let's see. Oop, Las Gemas. Okay, that's a Wait. Steven Universe reference. Oh dear. Okay, Latin America is everything from Mexico all the way down to Argentina. Just Google. Okay. Yeah, for they, I think there's some Spanish and English calling there, but the Portuguese and Spanish really were the ones dominate the colonization there. One? Juan Aguate? Aguate? Aguacate? You're alive? I thought you died at the hands of Kalaka years ago. Seems like n not every uh, or most ones who died at the hands of Kalaka at the start of the game uh, stayed dead. And yes, oh. I see it. He was coughing so much. Honestly, I wasn't afraid of him, <laughs> but I didn't want to catch that cold. Uh, do I even need to say anything here? Or here? Oh, dear God. He-Man, Skeletor, Black Panther, yeah. Tree... Uh... Okay, this one okay. I don't get. I'm on... Wait. No, is it? Mayor's mask? No. I, I am hesitant on this one. I don't think this was yours mask either. There used to be a, a clip maker who lived near here a long time ago. You look a lot like him. You could be his cousin. Maybe. Uh, let's see. It refers to it, it refers to the regions that were once Spanish, Portuguese, and French colonies. Okay. That weird magician had a dancing chicken troop with him. Did I imagine that? It's been a weird day. Or maybe you are bidding a get going a bit cuckoo. Oh, come on! <laughs> Be careful, young man. Nobody's lived out here for years. Nothing left but dust and the old Escalito. And the odd Escalito. Oh, yeah, it look oh, Juan and Lupita. Okay, uh, the, the place is caved in. Or the door is blocked. Let's see, friends. Does that include the Louisiana Purchase? Nope. Oh God, I'm in Latin America. <laughs> That's part of USA. 
Okay. So there was a swamp out this way all the time. So hello, monkey-like statue. Well, in this universe it could have become a swamp. Could be, yeah. And these things. Do not be much more your jungle. And then it can be bigger. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot more layered work going on this time. Also with the lighting. And it could also just be that some of we've had it with some games where they max out the CPU or the graphics cards when it's obviously they shouldn't, but that's more because it's just making use of whatever's available. One? It is you. Wait, Chief, uh, uh, Chief, uh, I really have no freaking idea how to pronounce that first name. Chiva really did it, that crazy goat. It's me, Tostada, Guardian of the Mask. Do you remember me? It's, re it's really strange to see you again. Nice mustache, by the way. <laughs> so thick. <laughs> we were so close to defeating Kalaka in this timeline, one. I swear, we won't, we won't make the same mistake with Salvador. Okay, so not... Hmm. So Kalaka in most timelines did win, or at least managed to kill Juan, and likely failed after that. Just hold still and close your eyes. This will only take a second. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on! Ooh, big candles. Well, roll of, roll of the dead again. Why so, was I just about to ask you why you have a chicken in your room? <laughs> before I saw the chickens here? <laughs> oh. So sorry about killing you back there. I had to get you to the world of the dead. Still a dick move. Anyway, look, here it is. It's a bit better from the last adventure. But it's waiting for you, Juan. Go on, before you turn into a skeleton. I'm gonna punch you for this. Oh, no. Great, now we're going to need to run around finding those orbs again to get resurrected. <laughs> so that's the one I remember. I do I kind of miss seeing the mustache. <laughs> now we just need to get you back to the world of the living. The council can help with that. They're further east in Pan <coughs> Pantanilo? Pantanilo? The swamp town. Let's go, Juan. I'll be around if you need me. Here we go. Now we can get into multiplayer. I did not. And again, we can I... get up to four. I think <laughs> I've forgotten about a lot of this. For I think I've completely forgotten <laughs> about the damn Sailor Moon thing. Yeah. Actually, I... Also. Excuse me. I thought I had seen this game, but now I'm unsure if I have seen it. Could be that you mistake, uh, mistook uh, Guacamelee 1 for it. Also, uh, could you read out what Clara said? Oh no! <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. That's that's all yours for to, for reading. <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> uh, fine. Loving face or from Clara. Loving face. The ball gets me over the tide. Why do I go Scottish? <laughs> Okay, now I want to see a scutless Mexican wrestler. I thought I wonder if I sometimes just had a condition that makes me sometimes randomly go into another accent. 
Accident. <laughs> Your accident accent. Oh, come on, Hill. <laughs> also, the skins are much more distinct. It's gonna go under the table and cry. <laughs> okay, we can <laughs> we can play as Chivo. Satabe, okay, and Pinata Tostada, El Portero, Diablo Suit, Alejibre. Purchase is needed. Okay. Looks like there aren't special abilities tightened though this time. There go. This time they're orange instead of red. The hazards. Oh, yep, ow. Okay. Probably everybody, it's easier to see orange than red in most could backgrounds. Be, or it could maybe be a colorblind thing as well. I like me. Oh, uh, thank you, Glacier Boy. Thank you. Got him in midair. Bye bye. I share so much my shock with you if I could. Let's see. Don't have the DLC. Like I, I remember there's. I, I remember seeing that there is DLC for this game, but I thought it was only uh, extra stuff. Let me take a quick look. Uh, store. Or then Guacamele two. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. The soundtrack three. Enemigos character pack. Oh, okay, that's where those are from. Okay. And hello there in the chat, see, uh, Sir Kubos. Yeah, Sir, Sir or Senior Kubos. <laughs> hello and welcome to the show. And, hello and yeah, welcome. Yeah, the other DLC is the Proving Grounds, which is a challenge level. Okay, so only uh, <clears throat> cosmetic DLC. Uh, no, not quit. <laughs> 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 uh, almost. Okay, big enemies can't be stunned. Hello, hello, big guy. Okay. There you go. And also dodge soap. A club of brute. There we go. I was going to dodge, but it right me right in the face. Okay. Ow. Then I got hit in the face with a fist. <laughs> Okay, deal with you first. Up, ow. Okay, so the melee skeletons now have a melee attack as well. Ranger? Those are called Ranger. Okay. There go. Skeleton, Ranger, and Club of Brute. There we go. Okay, long jumps, short jumps. We had this oh, in the original as well. Okay, you. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Just knocked right into the group. Okay, you go say hi to the, the small guy. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, they're nice emotes, uh, Sir Kubos. Much for cash. I cut up. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. You? Oh. There. Okay. I think it started to get in sync with the game. <laughs> Ew. What are. Ow. You recovered quickly from that. Okay, slicer diced. A lot of red blocks. Yep, jump down. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can't get any upgrades at the moment. How many looks? Yep, ow. Ow. <laughs> you. There we go. And our first heart bit. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> chicken. I'm very excited, chicken. 
I mean, the first time I've ever seen a chicken with a halo. Uh oh, oh. these are very familiar. Is Tivo going to get it? You know, is Tivo going to get annoyed with us again for breaking these? Let's see. Upgrades have changed location. Okay. Juan, tostada. Finally, Dios mío, my body was getting numb from hiding in that position. Wait, were you hiding in the statue or behind the statue? Ugh. You're really looking like a proper luchador now, Juan. The flashy garb means nothing without the fundamentals. You need to get reacquainted with the proper moves as you're going to face Salvador. In case you forgot, Chozo, uh, Chuzo statues hold the secrets of the ancient luchador techniques. The one you just rudely destroyed contained the legendary Rooster Uppercut. <laughs> He's getting annoyed with us again. Rooster Uppercut breaks red blocks and can be performed in the air. But if you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. That's what you get for neglecting your training, man. <laughs> there we go. Much less flashy than in the previous game, huh? Much less eye hurting as well. Yeah. Uh, nope. I mean, I will mean give uh, you on the benefit of about that for he being busy being a father. Yeah. Oop. Uh, special moves from Kraken. Yep, yep, yep. Oop. There we go. Yep. Okay. What are you little bastards called? Leapers. Yep. Okay, not the name I expected them to be called. That? Nope. I expect like shell trap turtle what leaper? Really? Yeah, Aloxes are the small jumpy guys. Go. <laughs> Perfectly timed just bony bastard. And I'll be right back. I need to refill my drink. I feel like I need one extra tray. Try not to spike it with tequila. Leaper and Alox. <laughs> oh, and immediately we're starting with the shields. Ow, ow. I'm not gonna drink alcohol during stream for... Well, I'm alone at home at the moment and it will go very unwell. And... Yeah, I think I told you before, my medication does not act well with alcohol. Yeah. Me. Moment of invincibility during the grab. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had a trick sim- Oop. Great waiting for us. I actually got both of them. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, I need to get closer to these guys before I actually start with the rolls. Go. There goes Haley Chicken again. Let's see. It's morning already. Everything is slept yet. There we go. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, in chat? Yeah, I, I saw. Uh, Sir Kubos, I like your avatar. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I, I slept it together myself, though tomorrow I'm going to have a talk with a friend who knows 3D modeling to get started on an upgraded version. One that perhaps can give him finally a beard. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how are you all doing today? Or tonight, or whatever time it is over there. I'm doing well. Let's see. Okay, heart piece, or heart chunk more. 
And it's just our... Oh, because you are going to be a little... No, you and your friend are going to be a little jackass. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay, luckily we don't get hurt from the water. Yeah, oh, that's a lot more. Okay, fly, my dudes, fly. Oh, dear gods. There we go. Oh. Oop. Oh. Okay, that dodge was mostly accidental. Okay, any more? Nope. Okay. And now there's two holy chickens. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me, I, I lately I've been getting back into Helltaker a bit, or rather the Helltaker fandom with uh, music and such, and just fan comics, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is it is just really fun still. Yeah, I, I, I hope they make more games. Like, there is the DLC that uh, we didn't complete, but... Uh, it, it's still nice. It, ow. Can we save from this? Can we save? Yes. There we go. That makes two for two. And, and if we got to go, make sure you got saved. Yes. There's... Yep, there's something more this way. So let's go take a look at that. Okay. Door number three. Now, this is the way we're supposed to go, I'm, I'm guessing. Perhaps? There we go, yeah. Okay, this is it. Pantan... Uh, Pantanilo. Pantan... Uh, Pantanilo. Yeah, the Paris of the Bog. <laughs> okay. There should be a portal back to the living world inside that giant you know, tree trunk. Okay, but before that, we're going to chat with the locals, of course. Wow, we don't see we don't see a lot of luchadors around these parts. Welcome to Pantanilo. Let's, let's move for later. Don't you just love the small town feel of this place? Tucked away from the bustling uh, city life. Ah, oh, so peaceful. Well, aren't you a strange sight? A living luchador in the dead world. You don't see that every day. Hello there. Up, ho, up, ho. Oh, why hi there, stranger. Please excuse me. I was, <laughs> was just blasting, and blasting my doubts. Uh, I think you need the muscles for that. Because delts, I'm pretty sure, are like a reference to one of the arm muscles. Well, now, would you be interested sure? in getting fit? You don't need any bony old meat to tell you it'll take a lot more than just listening to a lecture. You gotta work, work, work. Open up your skills menu with you know, there to see the workouts I've got in store for you. Soon enough, you, you <laughs> will have you ripped as all get out. I'm pretty sure he counts as that already. Trainer unlocked. Dona Chamaule. All right, skill tree. I'd forgotten about this. <laughs> Chamoya is great, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Increase health by a full heart for 2,000 gold. Increase stamina by a full circle for three, uh, uh, 350. Okay, I'd actually forgotten that, that this game swapped to a skill tree. Let's see. Let's get some more max health. Oop. Always nice that you have to hold to confirm. It's what's in Oh hello. Oh hi again, come in, come in. Here for some extra follicular uh, cardio. Uh well let's you do a 4K on this old treadmill. What's that look? You want a reward? Fitness is its own reward. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll throw in some gold for you. 
Now show me what we can show me what you got, old man. Hail, you did it again! <laughs> what? You said old man, she said young man! <laughs> Just a little further. Come on now. Heel toe. Heel toe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, he, she's fun. She's also oh, fast. Uh, hello. Huh? A secret magical chicken society rules <laughs> the Mexiverse from the shadows? What's next? Killer Piñatas? Okay. Neon Gauze? Why did the skeleton want a friend? She was feeling bonely. <laughs> I'm so bonely. No. Yep. Flame faces fight a torium. Yep. F F F. Okay. Don't go near the Jade Temple. I hear a gar gargantuan skeleton lives there. It's very scary. Let's see. If you wait to do that until you uh, have goat flies, she goes <laughs> through all those things just very quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a little peek over this way. Okay, it's blocked off by a living world platform. Uh, no. uh. Oh, thank goodness. It's so nice to finally see somebody. This portal here will lead you to the living world. Go ahead and jump right in when you're ready. The council is waiting. Okay. At what? To start it, you made it. End with the Luchadora. Amazing. One. We are the Council of Eight Chivos. Welcome to our secret hideout. We think Salvador may be after the sacred guacamole. Let me explain what that is. Lights, please. <laughs> Kim Portner cheatedly, the god of time, loved guaca oh, guacamole. He spent centuries perfecting his recipe. However, sadness overcame him every time he finished eating a batch. He came up with an idea. El Otro Mundo. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. The place where all of time converged. With guacamole in his past, present and future, he'd never run out. Naturally, he was quite protective of his recipe. Mortals were not allowed to taste his sacred guacamole. So we hit the key to El Matramunde inside three magic relics. And then he went to sleep. <laughs> Chivas of the holy guacamole. Yeah, it is literally holy guacamole. <laughs> oh dear gods. And also, it's finally... It took them to, uh, the second game to have, finally have gua guacamole in the game. Yeah. <laughs> we think that Salvador wants to eat the gu sacred guacamole because he believes it will give him godly powers and cure his sickness. But if he gets a hold of all the relics, it will make the voids even worse. The jade relic should be inside the jade temple, Juan. I need you to go. I need you to get there before Salvador does. It's, this must be R. Yeah, quickly run to the Jade Temple. Time is of the essence. You heard me. Scoot, skedaddle. <laughs> Let's see. We we just have a ton of them right here, huh? Hmm. Sacred guacamole. It sounds like it would make good dip. <laughs> Oh, dear gods. Careful, hon. There are a lot of skeletons in the Jade Temple. So are you guys just going to lock out dead, Chivo? That mask guardian Tostada sure is fearsome. 
She's got legs for days. Those powerful kicks. I bet she could boot a piata to the moon. <laughs> it would get there before any crypto would. Oh God. Salvador the snake is really scary. <sighs> Just thinking about him rustles my jimmies. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, there's the exit. Psst. Keep your eyes open for the chicken Illuminati. What's with that look? I'm serious! <laughs> They're watching us, Luchador. Always watching. Ah, great. <laughs> oh, hello. Ooh. You again? I remember you. How did you get back here? What? You thought you killed me? <laughs> I wish. Not with this curse of mine. I'll be here for eternity, uh, muchacho. Anyways, don't feel sorry for me. I've combined my two greatest joys in life. Fighting and dingy bars. Why don't you meet me inside? You look like a man in search of a drink. And something to punch. <laughs> well, we could punch you. Again. <laughs> Isn't this a scenic place for our reunion one? My interior decorator was really on fire. Because I set them on fire. Anyway, get in here, Poncho. Yep, this is the combo chicken gym of this game. <laughs> Why don't we start with something simple? So my how'd you punch this guy? Simple one, two, three. I guess you could call it a punch. More like being slapped with a soggy torta. <laughs> the exit torta. Tortilla. I can look it up, but it sounds similar to a Swedish word for cake. Uh, birth cake, cake, it is specifically. Yeah, okay. I bet you can't punch like that in the air, though. There we go. I guess you can. Well, this time you'll have to smack him up there yourself. go. I can see you're getting tired. Probably too tired to add a super move in there. On there. Okay, that wasn't terrible. But now you have to try it in reverse. You've got to be fast enough. On the lay. Now, I'm pretty sure most people can say on the lay because they've seen at least one Speedy Gonzalez ep <laughs> episode. And yeah, like you said, you need to be quick. There we go. Okay, jeez, we get it. You're a real fancy pants, Luchador. Just finish him off already. And then we get a big combo. Oh, dear. There we go. I'm too disgusted to teach you anything else right now. Find me again when you get stronger. But yeah, he replaces combo chicken. Wait, just a second. I just remembered. You might have the moves, but there's one thing you'll never have. My mastery over the hit streak meter. Poncho gets ported back in. I just keep rocking stuff without stopping or getting hit. And it just it, and it starts adding up. I can get a 49 hit combo. <laughs> And let's see, uh, yeah, Space Console is still around. However, a few years ago, they tried to console him and remove him, but the entire well, mass amount of the Mexican community came up and said, leave him alone. <laughs> okay, I don't. You cannot attack someone in the conversation that is against the law. <laughs> well, that is what we pulled on his ass last time. Now get out of my flaming face. Anyways, if you ever, you know, if you do ever get hit like that, your hit streak meter will reset. Now try and break my record of 49 hits. You'll see it's impossible. Well, we did hit 200 at the very least. Uh, ow. Yeah. 
super move still out get a lot of the get a, a lot of points for combo hits if we get a bunch of them at once oh, the second one <laughs> got in right on time for that <laughs> what no I don't know how you broke my record, Luchador. You must have been using power moves to get even bigger numbers with each hit. Hint, hint. <laughs> you cheater. Now get out of here and don't even look at the benefits you can get on my skill tree. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're going to see. Fury fighting. Let's see him. Your three hit combo attack has more po <laughs> will be more powerful. Okay. And now we start with uh, things that we need to do before we can unlock these. Let's see. Collect hard chest, two of five, and 3,000 to buy it then for... Okay, killing enemies will grant more health. And stamina we will cover faster once we get five stamina chest and pay her 5,000. Pardon? Let's see. Peso Posado, killing enemies will grant more gold. Okay, we need to find more gold chests. And mindful meditation. Recharge health and stamina. Hold L. Uh, press L down and hold. Okay. Purchase all Chamayo fitness skills. Collect 10 chests, 10 stamina, and then pay 7.5k. Okay. Yeah, th this sounds like a really useful skill tree. Then we have Flame Phases Fury Fighting. Yeah, 1 2 Pow. Get up. Use dodge when you. Uh, uh, when you hit the ground to get up quickly. Okay. Gold hits. Get gold after hits. No, four hits after a 25 hit combo. And for that we need to form a 25 hit combo to unlock it. Or to get access to it. Gilded gold hits. <coughs> gold rewards multiply at 25, 50 and 100 hits. Needs to have the... <coughs> Pardon. Something with my throat. We need to have the first one unlocked. It's, they're linked together. And perform a 50 hit combo. And we have Tough Guy. Take three hits before your hit meter resets. That is going to be useful if we're going to use these. Heavy Hitter. Special moves cost half stamina after 50 hits. And we need to perform a hundred. Well, five 100 hit combos for that. Okay. We need to 50, 10. We need to do 10 50 hit combos here. And yeah, okay, I I think I misread these. Yeah, we need to do these combos multiple times before we can get access. And on fire, special moves cost no stamina after 100 hits. That is going to be really useful if we can keep a combo going. With well with this one, that would be a lot easier. Yeah, but especially when the moves are free and all that. But we'll need to unlock them first. So for now, let's actually chat with uh, any other people around. Let's see. With all of those you know, great Chivos suddenly visiting, our little swamp uh, town sure has become a lot more crowded. It doesn't smell too good. <laughs> what do you expect when you get a bunch of goat guys? I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I was told that there would be snacks provided at that meeting. What's going on here? Where did all this great chivos come from? I had no idea he had so many relatives. Are they having a family reunion? <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat this luchador. You have your work cut out for you. Hey Juan, it's been a while. How sharp are your fighting skills after all that after all this time? You should talk to the loudmouth who runs the Pytatorium near here. I bet he could give you a refresher. Oh, hell. Almost didn't see that one. And okay. New color block. And not the egg bomb from last time. And a different one. That's uh, more chicken sized. Alright, that's uh, a big cat. Yeah. Hey, mister, be careful at the Jade Temple. I heard that a huge, enormous, really scary giant skeleton in it. I hope it's not going to take long to get back to my timeline. 
I have an acupuncture appoint appointment I can't be late for. Okay. There sure are a lot, of, you know, a lot of your chivos across the different timelines. One thing is for sure, though. I'm the real goat. <laughs> you are a goat who turns into a man instead of a man who turns into a goat? Or is it the other way around? Okay. You should probably not think too deeply on it. There's enough uh, available chicken illuminati. Yeah. Hello. I hello. Yeah, completely miss. What it didn't. The... A flyer flattened. It's only scary if you've done something that deserves punishment. Who? Go shut that thing up. Let's... Uh, who do you mean with that, Clara? Like uh, one of the Chivos? Let's see. Oh, the gigantic skeleton inside the Jade Temple. We're, we're heading that way, anyways. Lights out for that one. Flyer. Yeah. Well, that's a straightforward name. At least that will make sense. Uh oh. Damn, damn. There we go. Okay, I thought they could only take hit one hit, but apparently they do have a health bar. There's not a lot of it. There you go. Okay, whatever is that way, we can get that on the way back. Okay, I like that they add those little intro bits to these now. Make it a, a little bit less sudden. Yeah. Oh, he he hello, he big guy. And if that thing is a morning star. Magic morning store at that. Well, we must have gotten hit there at one point because the combo reset. But, yeah, why did it have a pinata for a head? <laughs> I hear something. Oop, hello. <laughs> ah, at last, the sacred jade temple. Can you smell the mystic odor of dark magic? Oh, is that what that funky smell is? Once Salvador gets the Jade Relic. Say no more, I will retrieve the Relic. And Salvador will be friends with me. Best friends. This is not one of your plays, Muneko. Uh, Please, I shall not fail. My Lord of Darkness shall not be relicless as long as I, the amazing Muneko, uh, can tap dance five six seven eight. Uh, not another musical number. Yep. Oof. Okay, Muneko. It's showtime. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like we have company. Let's find a way across. In Soviet Russia, pinata hit you. <laughs> Okay. okay, I was kind of hoping if we could see if I could throw him and then just grab him with uh, <laughs> just hit him with the uppercut on the way down. Oh dear. And also be right back. I'm gonna check, need to check, check something here. Okay. Get my head through, Ow. Okay, let's see, there's a red block that way. So that's an exit. Let's see. Muneko is my boyfriend, by the way. You better be nice to him and the girls. <laughs> okay. But if he does need punching in the face, we are going to punch him in the face. Hello. 
did. I did not actually expect there to be anything or much here, like a small area maybe, but you. Go break that. Intercept and there. Yep. Wait. Okay, these are these two are references, and I'm not getting them. <laughs> that one looks like they have a belt with a clock in it. Let's see. Background pillars. Link's hookshot. Bionic. Okay, Bionic Commando. Okay, I thought the statues themselves might be uh, references. In and I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, the weapons held here. Bionic Commando's arm and Link's hip hookshot. So I think you can guess what the type of weapon power we're going to get. A banana? Hello, hot pink. <laughs> hot pink pirate? No. Hey, Juan, my man! Isn't this place radical? You probably had no idea, but I'm the Uchivo from the Groovy timeline. The other yeah, the Uchivo from your timeline was busy, so I asked his other Chivos to help you out. What is up with your arm? Is it just tiny or... The other hell. Oh, he's me. Oh, I know what happened. He's supposed to be missing one arm. And still he's or, uh, menacing to pull his loin cloth back up with it. Yeah, like he has a half an arm and they... And that, this is, that is an oversight that looks so disturbing. Uh, maybe he has a... Maybe he has a bit of wire tied to his loincloth from it. <laughs> he said something about a statue and the magic powder? Can I snort it? Uh, Not me, he would say that. Oh wait, power! That makes way more sense. I can't smell anything anyways. <laughs> Eagle something or other? For you to leap, like a frog or... Oh, I, I got it. Soar like an eagle. Cool! Eagle boost! I love the eagles. Yeah, even the goat uh, is missing one front leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. The eagles are pretty cool. Anyway, Juan. Now we'll be able to jump high enough to reach the Jade Temple entrance. <laughs> yep, eagle boost. Okay, move near a hook point. When the arrow appears, press Y to Eagle Boost. Whoa, so you fly so high. Yeah, man, keep flying like an eagle. And yes, we're going to run into so many more Chivos. Uh, yeah, Clara, I, I can see why. But it, it's an easy thing to miss, at least until you notice it. Then it's, yeah. it becomes very apparent. <laughs> I thought he was a hot pink pirate at first. There's something that way. So I, let's I go think check that's that. Kind of what they went for, like a groovy pirate. Could be. What is over this way? I'm pre presuming a chest. Hmm. Or something we cannot get to. Yeah, whatever that is, we can't get to it yet, I'm guessing. Okay, a bit annoying, but also nice to add areas where we can't get to at the moment. So we have uh, <coughs> a reason to go back and explore later. Okay, fly like an eagle, crash like a duck. What? Okay, done. There we go. I, I, I think we go with it. Fly like an eagle, crush like a pig. <laughs> also works. 
And hope, uh, hopefully you get the yoke with that one. Flying pig. Well, in this case, we wanted to try to fly and failed. Yeah. When pigs fly and all that. Oh, wait, now we can get that mask. That's endurance, please. No, it, it doesn't take like a sheep. What the hell was that? <laughs> a poultry party. My hand is rocked and half. What the heck? Anyways, the Jade Temple. And a lot of shiny stuff. It reminds me of Dreamboard, where I've been doing that today. Okay. I built and... houses made of jade. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I gotta try that in Dwarf Fort for some time. Let's see. It was a skull wearing a sombrero, yeah. <laughs> On fire. And just... Yeah, just look at all of the light effects in this place. Holy... Yep, chicken. And reflections. Oop. Mm, chicken dinner. And off you go. <laughs> yeah, the new lighting really gets shown off in temples. Again, nice that the green goo doesn't actually hurt you if you land in it. Nope. And we're starting with this. Oh, oh! Okay, we can actually hit targets in the other uh, world now by throwing enemies. Pretty sure that wasn't the case in the first nope, game. Okay. Oh. Oh. okay, that was a nice little bit. We grabbed him just as we went through. There we go. Oh. There. Uh, if they ever make a Guacamele 3 and manage to improve somehow yet more, I'm going to be really impressed. Yeah, so, do, do, obviously, do the, they should do the best and optimize it as much as possible so it doesn't do what it's due to your computer at the moment. Now, it's taking up a lot of processing, but it's not running poorly. I, I think it's, it's a type where it takes up a lot. But mostly because there's extra processing available to what is needed out. Yeah, I could look at uh, the settings to maybe lower it a little bit. Big switch. Bro, watch what you're, where you're stepping. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Down here. <laughs> Hello. And I thought I had a fake skull. Seriously, though, watch your step. A bunch of chickens just came through here. And apparently they missed the restroom on the way in. Ew. Oh, and they had a magician with them. I never thrusted, trusted those guys. And so bossy. Me pick a card? Why don't you pick a card? Anyways. I've got no beef with luchadors. Me templo as su templo. <laughs> okay. I think I know the translation for that one. And also, why did they do with that facial expression with on that skull? <laughs> Wait, but it's not like he really has skin to express with, so he's just stuck like that. 
If I knew keeping company was coming, if I knew company was coming, I might have cleaned up some of this goo. Just ignore the mess. I'll give you a hand. As in a quite literal hand. <laughs> Get it? Give you a hand. Pretty good, right? Right? <laughs> Jeez, tough crowd. Oh, and now we get to fight on his hand. Wait, oh, hello. It's only uh. scary if, if you don't think that deserves punishment. <laughs> okay, the these guys are called cool. yeah. <laughs> Okay, we've got a new version of the yellow skeletons, dashers. Hello. Okay. Now this is neat. All right. Now up. There we go. Oop, almost over jumped it. Now, it's <laughs> too early. It's... Okay. There we go. Oop. Ow, damn it. For that, chuck you. Yeah, sure. Ow. Okay, I'm not going to get out. Ow. I'm not going to get too high of a combo in these areas. If I keep getting hit. How did... Okay. <clears throat> How did that... Okay. The dashes can dodge roll. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. okay, we have a decent amount. Let's take a quick look. <clears throat> uh, we need to collect more. Let's get another circle of these. When we're not five coins short. <laughs> uh. Oh, good God. <laughs> Just exactly that. Yeah, yellow skeletons have been very annoying in both games. Hmm. Yeah, and also... Uh, over Super I... Street, they were all like... Five or one coin away to be able to afford something in a game. Yep. I guess these are the skeletons of uh, former Dark Souls players. Really? Yes. Oop. Also, fun fact, there are some statues in the, the mixed go around Aztec areas and some in other uh, South uh, American areas with these elephant looking statues and no one is sure what they're supposed to be. Like, some suspect just a mythical monster, however, some fear as they are elephants. But there are no elephants in South America. Yeah. This, however, they, they escalate there from there that they realize that, uh, well, Atlanteans. That Atlantis apparently had elephants. Yep. So they brought okay, some over there, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a not a complete rabbit hole, that one. Hmm. I know they're supposedly something. A subspecies called dwarf elephant or something, but I don't know in which areas those might have lived. Ah. Uh, that was more towards uh, Mediterranean and uh, Indonesia. Okay. Well, basically, island elephants. Uh, what the heck? 
We we even had a, a hippos in Europe. Okay. Small ones around some islands. They are extinct now. Probably due to hunting. Alright. Again, they were very small. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> then, <laughs> up they zoom. Oops, they zoom. Oh. Uh, I'll read after the fights. Yeah, uh, I agree. Wants to read. Let's see. Congratulations, boy. That's absurd. They all drown in Atlantis. <laughs> Is that a rooster Before Africa? Nice. Before Atlantis sank. <laughs> yeah, okay, for wait. Clara. I almost said Clara Croft for some reason. <laughs> Clara's. Ew. Yeah, for Clara. As soon as someone suggests Atlantis as a solution to mystery, I love and re evaluate everything they ever said. Yeah. Okay, so we can actually climb back up through here? Yep. I do believe Atlantis may have existed. I do. I am, however, very careful over all the supposed proof given so far. Like I, I, I give a little bit, a bit of 50 50 approach. Oh, hello there. Great job, girls. We'll keep them busy with those skeletons. Especially the big one with the undeveloped, <laughs> underdeveloped funny bone. But where is the Jade Relic? It has to be here somewhere. Yuck. I know the Relic doesn't have legs, Gertrude. I really don't appreciate your sarcasm right now. Take five, okay? Yuck. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress here. If I can't even steal an ancient relic, what kind of friend am I? Yuck, yuck. Yep, they're there. I should probably stop since they're already clocking themselves. Good idea, Loretta. Donna, we'll go stage right with you. Let's split up to cover some ground. But remember, girls, let's do it. <laughs> In style. Five, six, seven, eight. Who lays eggs? Who procreates? Uh, oh, so from Clara, there is no evidence for it. It was introduced as a hypothetical superior state of Greece by philosopher. Not a single piece of evidence for it. it, it, it how does it is? I'm open for it to have existed, but I'm also open for it to be a breath, so many things else than the inspiration for it. For, there has been some places that could have led as an inspiration for it. Yeah, there have been some places that did sink into the sea in Greece, I believe. Yeah. But uh, none that yeah, there would was count some as. that sort of collapsed in it in the concept of the volcano erupted, and they will, a big part of it collapsed it down into the sea from it. Yes. Oop. How <laughs> in a statue? Oh, it's Whoa. this guy. Oop, you're speeded. Wall jump is a power that is so powerful that you can now cling to walls and jump off of them. Powerfully. <laughs> Press the stick towards a wall and hold on to hold on to it. Press A to jump off. P -p -p power. <laughs> Wait, is there he He's a reference to that uh, commercial guy, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, Terry Choose, I believe he is called. Yeah, she said, it, it, Clara says that. Uh, I heard the name of what. Oh, sure, who live Wait, is it the flex tape? No, no, not even the flex tape guy has that much energy. It's the, it's the deodorant guy. Like a p -p 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 power. Okay, then I have never seen that ad then. Then I'm going to correct that right now and just send you 
<laughs> link you to a, oh, that probably flashbanged you. Let me move it over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, cruise, not choose. Okay. Uh, okay. Not going to open it. Just going to share there. And then send it to you, Drakir. You can check that after. Or now if you want. But you might just recognize him by look alone. Oh, him! There we go. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I recognize him. I see the, the other... I think I may have seen one of the more... Quote-unquote calmer version. Like, this one don't seem way more... He's so even just chewing his... Many... Yeah. He's even just chewing his stick faster. Yeah, it's more like this guy has been eat, eating, drinking a lot of Red Bulls. Yeah. And he probably ate the cat as well. Uh, when I when I saw him at the council, I thought he was like to be a Viking, Chivo. Uh, I was going to say Viking or perhaps golf. As in, uh, you know... West Golf, e West East Golf. I was about to say, what about he is? I was about to say he's not dressed in black. Okay. Uh, I, I meant a more older definition for of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. White and purple can't be dodged, so we have to get out of the way. Uh, let's see. From Laser Boy, work in play for play. Oh, good God, I can't say that sentence without tripping my own tongue. Wait, wait, wait. Ow. Okay, Clara, don't eat a can. Like, I know we all need our iron, but that's mostly aluminium anyways. Yeah, it's sure. Okay. Oh, dear gods. And also, how can I happy we don't have those inflatable tube uh, things in Sweden? Hmm. Mm. I don't think I've ever... I think I have seen those around here, but rarely. Hey, let me give you a lip down. It'll be a joint effort. Okay. Oh, that was a fire... That's a... Was a... Yeah. Family Guy reference. Joint effort. Nothing. Alright, back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh dear. And yeah, uh, I, got, I got the reference, Glacier Boy. And I... I, I think I don't like the yoke. Or, or... I think I liked it the first time, but it, came, it then became that... That is joke that people did way too much. Yes, I think you would say that about you. About uh, Family Guy in general. From what yeah. I know, it started out pretty fun, but it, it, it supposedly has a few good ones still every now and then. Out. Yeah. And that's our first death. But for the most part, they've been, yeah, just overly random with things and such. Yeah, and I think they actually repeated their own jokes. Especially that one way too many times. But yeah, some of them, from what I've heard... Oh, come on. Some of their jokes are still pretty good from what I hear. Mostly the... Completely out of left field ones. You. Ah, okay, I should have dodged that one. I saw that one. I did not see that one coming a mile away. Okay, these pounders are pests. It. 
God, dodge it this time, you little shit. She kind of got... Shut up! Okay, these are the ones that fruit is have a new name. Yeah, when I, I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to pronounce in a million years. I, I probably had needed to see that name longer to be able to practice it. Yes. Or at least try. Go shortcut back, but there's more down here. So is all of this just extra area, or are we actually making progress here? Okay, we are making progress. There's a little, there's an area over there that we skipped. Then, hmm, we need to look there later. Then, I think I just realized why we don't see any store of any um, kind of those inflatable men uh, thing. They've been overused. Uh, more of... It, it will... Uh, I hope... Uh, just uh, make the bill higher due to... You need... You need uh, to uh, make them... Uh, inflate, after all. Constantly. Oh. And since nope. they're not loose, they also have a hole on top. Yeah, that just means more money you will need to spend just to keep them moving. So it's just cheaper with a with a statue or a signboard on a flag. Okay. Since those don't cost uh, energy. Reteaching us again that we can dodge projectiles. Hmm. Ow. Yeah, exactly, Clara. That, that, that's the problem. That's what probably why we don't see them in Sweden. For we, many Sweden will look at that and go, "Why would I have that in front of my store?" Go. So especially when they realize it just cost money. Well, they do draw a lot of <laughs> they do draw a lot of attention and really buddy easy with the goods. You've got no goods left. <laughs> yeah, good gracious. Uh, probably is it will probably draw a lot of attention for many of us will just look at it and go, well that's a waste of money. Special on electric bill. Can we actually throw you into those? So that we, we can paint the ceiling with your face. Is there something new that we can buy? Let's see, we need more chests for those. We need more money for any of these. Oh dear. That's... Oh, I did not notice you. <laughs> okay. He just... Yep. Did he just try to break the fourth wall and fail? No, he just got caught with by one of the traps in this place. Okay. There we go. And also, those traps were a reference. There we go, get a bit more air before. Yeah, I don't think he even noticed this, he ran past Zelda references. I think balls. Was it in their looks or something, or. They look like a. Uh... Oh, bloody heck, what do you call them? A bicycle honk that shoots uh, balls. Oh, uh. uh... How, how are those called again? Hmm, what's the trick here? Uh, there's a glitch boy. 
Oh, I see. They mainly for advertisement, so if you look at it, it's working. Yeah, you're unsure that it's a really good advertisement uh, to begin with. Like a sideboard, it work better. And does the really? same job. <laughs> okay, luckily we can fully heal at these things. Okay, you know, I'm pretty concerned. Glacier boy, you, you don't own one, do you? I think we can get. I think we can make a good guess at who would definitely own one of those. Multiple of them, probably. Okay, I'm not sure who who we will guess that at the moment. It would not be me. Your name begins with an S. With an S. As does their middle name, their third name, and th their last name. And there are those fingers again. Yep. Oh, those are instant I'm... Death. I'm blanking out here. Stan. Uh, oh. Yeah, he would. He would. And also... I thought you made one of our friends. <laughs> well, Stan, Stan doesn't count is... as one, certainly. Stan is an enemy. <laughs> yeah, arch enemy. Okay, new type of obstacle, instant death balls. And is it from Clara? Uh, Grishbo says no, Damn it. because he doesn't own one. Maybe. And for Clara, I think there's a signal that different in culture that your businesses are constantly trying to get everyone's attention. A half true. Like, they will not go to do youth inflatable things. They just go with a signboard and maybe with a, some weird commercial sometime, but they try to not look at too weird, but they sometimes they always, you will always find an annoying commercial everywhere. Yeah, if there's advertising, there's some... Damn it, that's the same one. There's some jackass in advertising who's, who thinks annoying gets attention. Yeah, or they tr think they're funny, but they are not. They're, they're, what, what the heck, I told you this before. One of the Swedish... McDonald's and Burger King commercials once did this. Oh, you do do want to click away this ad, but this is so good. Click. Yeah, I did that every time. And I think it's happened so much that you actually had it changed so you could not click away that 12 second ad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, my take on it is, if you need more than five seconds to explain your shit, you can't explain your shit well. Yeah, like, I see like ads do 12 seconds just fine. And it's extremely rare to see an annoying commercial that's only six seconds, but still... Don't... Don't taunt the viewer with such yeah. a statement. They will call your bluff, and they will click. Yeah! Now, you, get, you give them extra reason to click away. Yeah! So you will have to eat your own medicine! That's it. Oh, you're a big one. Ow. With a big punch. Okay, we can't stun you. I think most of the McDonald's and Burger King have returned Ow. to just being very short and very just informative that come now, this burger or this burger is now this price this week. They return to that for 
people respond better to those ads, friends. They, they, they don't do anything to annoy you, really. There we go. A bit dicey. Yeah, we gotta be careful of the big ones. Oh, oh. yeah. And there's the damn thing again. I don't know what they are called in Zelda. Uh, Octorox. Okay. And again, they are they are generic cannons with eyes enough that they might be just about anything. But, but, oh, I completely missed the vines. Wait, I, I thought they were living creatures. Yep. But, I mean, more the design here. It's a cannon with ah. an eye. It could be well, anything that's has a snout and shoots. Yeah, do I think it's a reference to a cell in a sense. They shoot similar projectiles. Yes, these ones are not alive. Let's see. Nope. Ooh, dinner! Chicken dinner! <laughs> now now this isn't PUBG. What? The winner winner chicken dinner. That's from PUBG? Yep. No 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 I refuse to believe that. Well, that, that is where most people got it from, I think. It's older than that. Ah, damn it. That was I just heard it. I have heard that damn phrase before Poggy even existed. It probably was a line before then, but ew, I think PUBG has made it, has repopularized it. There you go. Uh, okay, Clora agrees me and Glacier Buses, Letra Kindry. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for letting me dream, but uh, also... What? <laughs> okay, uh, gold and stamina chests. Reminds me, I actually had a weird dream the other day. Oh, wait, okay, wait. The infamous Luchador. Gertrude, you were right. Well, if what you're after is the Pabled Relic, bad news, Buster, because I'm getting it. And once I bring it back to Salvador, I'll be the favorite. Oh, Muneko, you got the relic. Now that I'm the ruler of the Mexiverse, only the best friend, and I choose you. Oh, Salvador. <laughs> you flatter me. <laughs> and girls, remember, to, uh, remember my sign on the song I wrote for this inevitable moment. Loretta on my six? Okay, okay, we, we'll rehearse after we get the relic. No time to waste. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Ooh, a rehearsal. I really want to see that show now. Okay. Right. Now, as I was to say, nope. Is it all the one of our recent streams? I actually were dreaming, then I woke up and realized I was dreaming. But it was not the situation where I woke up. I was sleep, woke up uh, sleeping in another place and doing that repeatedly to get me confused. This time I was dreaming that I woke <laughs> up in the middle of a stream. <laughs> okay. Okay, but nice up, play. I just ended up looking around and realized, oh, I was not streaming. Oh. Okay, we're back to the lava in the, in the oh. dead world. Oh, this is scary and also me. Uh, open, uh, what? <laughs> She's talking about Mineko. The drama faced guy. Damn. <laughs> Chicken Wizard is your boyfriend? Ooh, nice bounce. <laughs> uh, 4,000 exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Oh dear God. Uh, yeah, Glacier, I know it's a saying. They will. 
Uh, keep on dreaming. <laughs> Jimmy knows. <laughs> Backed up into his own grave. Okay, I'm really liking this this gimmick. It's interesting to give me too. I know if I saw this happen during one of my games, I just go, you know, or do or I just be ready for bullshit? Okay, luckily Guacamelee is a lot more forgiving of a game. Okay, you get five more seconds. There we go. <laughs> you run the gauntlet. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay, luckily we can see them in the lava, so they don't just jump at us. But they do follow a pattern. Two up, one down, two up. There we go. Fly like an eagle. And I don't even remember the rest of that song yet. Okay, down. This is going for quite a while. Good. Uh, okay, from uh, Glacier Boy. Win, win, chicken dinner is a saying that means jackpot. From what? A dictionary said, I'm about to go down another rabbit hole, Drakir. Help. Damn. <laughs> I just get killed at the very end there. <laughs> I'm suddenly worried for Glacier Boy. <laughs> just leave the rabbits alone and they won't kill you. Unless they're British killer rabbits, then you are screwed anyway. Why do I just imagine a Welsh giant killer bunny? Those things are massive! Are you thinking <laughs> Welsh accent or Welsh area? The Welsh area... Uh, wait, have you never heard of a Welsh giant bunny? Yeah, I think I know of them. Yeah, then you know, if, if your cats try to mess with one, what would happen? Yeah, they could probably kill them by sitting on them. Hello yeah. there. Oh, that's a bunch. Hold on, I've always wanted to try something. Take a hike, squatters. <laughs> Phew, that was a rush. About time someone stood up to those guys. Or should I say stood on them? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to laugh at that one. I know it was funny. Okay, that's the way that we need to go. So that means that whatever extras are here are there. Oh, someone... Okay, I, I see someone... Uh, culture have been watching Monty Python. <laughs> yeah. Holy okay. hand grenade. There we go. Hmm. I don't think it I've seen that be... ever from the very start. It, you like you need to. to I, I, think, it... I think we need to watch that with you sometime, from beginning to end. Oh, damn it. Yeah, let's see. From Glacier Boy? Uh, well, right, uh, let's see. First with Clara. Only if you don't have the holy hand grenade from Oof. Antinoch. I hope you lost that right. And for Glacier Boy, that food needs some moisturizing. Um, I'm sure if moisturizing will help. And I believe the pronunciation is Antioch. Oh, yeah, it might be that. It's a so small text. At least it yeah. sounds like a proper name on like another place. The cave of... Ah? 
Oh. Game of toothache. No, the one naming it died in the middle of naming it. Yeah. Okay. More gold. More gold. Okay, from Glacier Boy. Moisturizing and an ice pack. Drakia. Okay, I, I think I just got double slammed here. <laughs> if that's even a phrase. I was just to analyze why what with the ice pack. That... Just kidding. How are you going for a second, didn't I? I was going to try and boost your uppercut in. <laughs> Hello. What the heck? It's most like dancing and cheap cologne in here. We must be close. Wait, you can smell the relic and it smells like a cheap performance? What? New purchase? Let's see. I'm going to save up for this one so it'll be easier to get the others. Now, the ice pack for swelling because it's so fucking big. But. It's only bones! There's nothing to swell! Yep. Yep. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Who is it? Just tell me, goddammit. It's me! Or do we mean it's a me? I think the Mario movie came out yesterday. From what I hear, story, eh. The rest, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Muneko. Great job, girls. No, no, remember it's strut, strut, pack, strut. Not strut, pack, strut, strut. Red Nata, love that zast. They gotta come in on uh, the two ends, not the two. Gertrude, you were perfect. Now take five. Time to show this luchador some tricks. I hope he isn't keeping those chickens in his pants. Uh, I think he's keeping them in the hat. In the hat. I think he does not want. Uh, he has what the people will original to use Happy. chickens instead of uh, bunnies. So yeah, let let's beat this crap out of uh, Mexican Mario. I feel like we've been repeatedly returning to bunnies for some reason today. Yep, yep. Okay, big ass sword. Yep, oh, I dove into that one. Where are you? Yep, uh, hello. Really? <laughs> A beauty mole? Really? On his mask? <laughs> Manners Monroe wants her mole back. And her dress. I overestimated my jump. I don't think he's wearing her dress. No, but. Oh, damn it, I forgot about the. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, apparently uh, there's a whole story that went on with, with uh, Marilyn Monroe's possessions after she died. That they that they were basically stolen. Oh, oh dear God! Uh, not in the. Uh, Immediate meaning of the word, but basically her will was defied. Like she wanted her possessions to go to friends, but yeah, instead the producers and such took them. Oh, that, that's disrespectful. But then again, I'm not surprised. Bloody Hollywood. Also, just the animation here has been upped <laughs> a ton. Yeah, I, I am impressed by the animation here. Oh, those were chickens! Oh, damn it, I've missed it. 
diagonal growing one. I thought earlier he was firing maracas at you. Now he's got a whole hen house and a, a half in there. Did he just send a Pac-Man at us? I think so, but he also did kill half of them. Oh dear God. The stream timer, the timer is going off, but we'll finish this fight first. This, this fight first. Did I just mess up fighting first together? Think you did, boss. Yep. Damn it, missed him. Not too early. Missed him again. Ow. Why are you not triggering that? Okay, we are getting our asses kicked quite well. Okay, Magic Man, what do I have up my sleeve? Oh, damn it. There we go. I can't see that before it gets annoying. <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to beat up a magician? Anyway, while you fools were busy clobbering me, Gertrude was stealing the precious relic. So long, nerds. <laughs> what the oh. Okay, okay. No, no, now it's personal. I I might try to cut that out for something. <laughs> Let's see. How is chat been? Uh, Clara, I love the new boss fights. <laughs> My boyfriend. But at least he has the relic. Good job, girls. <laughs> oh, dear. That didn't look very jade, though. Oh. Don't look so glum, buddy. That other fella took a decoy relic. I just can't abide magicians. They're su suspicious folk. So, maybe you don't laugh at my jokes. Maybe you even groaned and rolled your eyes a few times. That's fine. At least you're honest. You earned the real relic. I'll let you through. <laughs> Let me just step aside. Oh, that's embarrassing. I seem to be stuck. Just a rigor mortis flare-up. It'll pass in a few hours. Probably. We cannot afford to delay, Traveler. No. Uh, I bestow upon you the power of Polo. May it aid you in your quest. Do not be afraid. Pack the grains of truth and justice, and perhaps we shall meet again. <laughs> and with that, we gain the power to turn into a chicken again. One that's a bit more colorful than last time. And, uh, yeah, last time we got the power from basically poultry Satan, and now from poultry God. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, yeah. Let's call Wait, it there. Yes, it's saved. The skull popped up in the corner. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so let's head on over here. And I'll quit the game in the meantime. And we are going to look for someone to raid. So let's just pop up that browser. Go to the Twitch tab. Swap over the screen share. There. And let's have a look. Who are online? Okay. Uh, Nico is online doing art again. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, double I is pronounced with a Y sound. So Polo is Poyo. Okay, so like the sound that Kirby makes? Poyo. Wait, so he's basically Poyo. constantly saying, he's basically constantly asking for chicken. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, dear gods. 
Let's see. Next up, we have Pika Girl, who is streaming the cycle, Frontier. Okay, that's uh, one of those... Um, uh, I've played that for a short time. The best way I can describe it would be like a Escape from Tarkov, but more sci-fi. I didn't get too deep into it. Uh, okay. next, up, yeah, next up, we have Azra Arcane, who is streaming Resident Evil 4. I am thinking about picking that game up sooner or later, but I've already got enough games in my library to do as is. And it'd be fun to stream that. So we can put that on the to stream list. And wait, apparently both versions of Resident Evil 4 are being streamed, the old and the new. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably for uh, people who want to try the old one, then try the new one. Yeah. To compare. Let's see. Let me double check that the place is muted. It is because Live Girl is streaming Minecraft, Vault Hunters to be exact. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Karenai who is streaming Limbus Company. And just short of the maximum 100 viewers that we typically go for is Halloween 4545 with Dredge. I'm really getting damn curious about this game. So. Same. I, I want to I stream want... it, but. I don't know how long it might take. Yeah, that's it. Is. I'm supposed us to stream Dredge, but we shall investigate first how long it may take. <clears throat> I can actually take a quick peek at that with this. Why am I getting the hiccups now? <clears throat> and let's see how long to. Did you get that scared of uh, the deep sea? Uh, not that scared. Let's see. Dredge, and it comes up. Okay, main story, 8 hours. Main plus extra, 11 and a half. Completion is 16 and a half. But it is a recent game, so those could be inaccurate. Yeah, but it does sound promising, though. Yeah. I doubt we would get it done in just 4 or 5 streams, but we could put it as a side, pro a side quest. Mm-hmm. After Ori? Yeah, it could work. And it's, a, it's only... Well, it's the first game in its series, if it even gets sequels. But yeah, it, it sounds streamable. Like, are we concerned if it were to take 20 or 30 hours? Yeah. Okay. For now, though, who shall we raid? Any of them? Or shall we look at recommended channels? Uh, uh, let's see. I can see the recommended, and they, uh... Let's see. Solasta, Crown of the Magister, Resident Evil, Just Chatting, Encased, another Just Chatting, and King of the Castle, which is a more Twitch game, uh, more something people do with their own audience. So... Mm. Pika, then? Yeah, P uh, let's go be Pika. Okay, um, let's see. We have a few people on at the moment, so let us try something for once. Uh, a, a raid message. So anyone who is joining along for the raids, just to copy this out. Uh, ta -ta -ta. And uh, yeah, just post that when we get there. Just pokes the Pika. <laughs> just <laughs> give him a poke. Okay, now copy the name. Are they ticklish? Uh, don't think so, but yeah. Will be fun to give it a shot. So copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you both Clara and Glacier Boy for, being, for sticking around and helping a bit, or chatting a bit at the, uh, at the absolute least. And, uh, and yeah, it it is nice to play this you know, or stream this game with someone who also knows the game. Oh yeah, we have had it happen before in few very rare odd games, <laughs> but it's been damn rare. Yeah, it's like only the third time or something in two years. <laughs> Pro yeah, it might be third time. Okay, either way though, uh. Yeah, I'll be free for a good few days to come, over a week. But let's not try to overdo it with streams this time. Um, we can do some double streams if we are really enjoying things. But I'm thinking we slow things down, 
to uh, mostly the even days like we had before Tuesday, Thursday, then Saturday and Sunday as an extra. But we can see about put, you know, putting something extra in each day or doing extra days. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Again, I'm always up for dumb streams. Well, usually. Okay, for now though, let's start out that raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, probably not tomorrow or may mm, maybe it's tomorrow Friday. With... Yeah, you sw swimming. Are you swimming tomorrow? Yeah, not, I'm not swimming myself. I will be keeping attendance for the swimming group. Yeah, group and crew. Yeah, and group and crew. <laughs> yeah, I feel like did we say new streams on Fridays due to the swimming thing? Yeah, no afternoon streams at least because dinner is later. Either way, thank you all again for watching and thank you as always, Drakir. You begin. Ah! Not like I can do your curse. You're welcome as always, my friend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, until next time, likely the, just the weekends, we can do th some three streams there. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for skeletons. And time for me to raid Glacier Boy's fridge. Hehe. <laughs>